Hello, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I have made this card. So using um, brushos, so brushos come in a powder form. So I've just put a little bit of brushos in the pot and then added water. So it makes like a, a watery wash paint. So we're going to be using four different colours for this particular card. And we're also going to be using some Lavinia stamps. So I'm going to be using the Tree of Courage, the Gate and Fence, the Secret Garden. I'm going to use the Lavender, the Little Ferns, maybe. I'll have a think about that one. And the Little Orchard Grass. So let me show you how I have made this. So... I'll just have my wet ones handy because I always get the ink and I've done it already over my hands and I don't really want to get it on the card if I can help it. Well, not where I want, don't want it anyway. So to start off with, I've got a piece of card here that is five and a half inches square. So I've got a brush, a soft bristled brush. And to start off with, we're going to paint some colours up in the sky. So we're going to use, so this one's actually, it's like brushos, but it's a different brand and it's called Cosmic um, Straw Yellow and it's got like a bit of a, a shine to it, that particular one. We're going to use some lime green brushos, Ost Red brushos and orange brusho. So we'll start off doing a bit up here in the sky. So we'll start off with some red. So I'm just going to dip the brush into that and just do like a, a watery wash around. Now, if you want the colour to move more, you can spritz a bit of water on your card, but that would depend on what you want to do. Now I'm just going to add some of the yellow. So I'll just clean my brush off and again just pop some yellow. Now when you're doing this you, you'll never get the same thing twice. So it's really hard if you do something and you're really happy with it you will never get it to go the same again. Okay so now I'm going to use some green so this one's lime green again I always wash my brush between colors and again we're just going to put some green around and Going to pop some orange as well up in the sky. Just give it a bit more colour. Okay, that's probably enough. Now from here we have to dry it. So let me just get my brush out of water. So one thing I hate is the brushes left in water. It soon destroys a brush if you leave them in the water. So now I'm going to get a heat gun. So sorry about the noise. And I'm going to dry this off before it can be stamped. Now I'm not going to edit this. So what you're seeing is in real time. So it gives you a better indication on how long it can take to do all this. Manoeuvre it around a bit to move the colours a bit. a while to dry if you don't want so much 
liquid on there. You can dab it off with um, some paper towel. Might actually do that to make it a little bit quicker so we'll just wipe up the excess and then I'll just continue with this to dry it off a bit more Use the back of the card as well. It will help stop with some of the buckling. Okay. Now, just to give an idea, here's one that I'd done yesterday and I've used the same colours, but you can see how different they look. So it's up to you how you want to do it. And here's another one that I've done in using different colours. Anyway, we'll go on. So that should be dry enough now to stamp on. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to use my stamp press. Now this particular one is a Stampin' Up! one. I also have a Tim Holtz stamp press. We often get people saying, which is the best stamp press to use? Well, it doesn't matter. They all work the same. Just different brands, but they all have the same outcome. And this is just the one that I happen to grab. So to start off with, we're going to be stamping the Tree of Courage. So we'll work out where we want the stamp, if you like. You can use your acetate to get an idea on how it's going to look once it's stamped. So we'll pop this one on here. And then just put the magnets on there to hold it in place. Move it over a little bit more. Okay, and we'll pick it up. Now I'm stamping with um, Nocturne Versifying Clear. I always do my stamping using VersaFine Clear because it's a really good stamping ink and it gives a nice, clear, crisp image. So I'll stamp that one up. Just wipe off this little bit of excess. And always remember to allow time for the card to absorb the ink. Don't just sort of push it on and lift it off. Give it time to soak in. By the way, I'm using 300 GSM card, which I find is the best when you're using um, water-based products because it, it holds the card into shape better. If you use anything too thin, it just goes all yucky and thin and bends and doesn't hold the water as much. Okay, so that's that one done. I'll just put that away. So now we're going to use this one. Um, no, actually, where's the other one? Here we go. We'll do the secret garden stamp first. So these, as I think I said earlier, are all Lavinia stamps. I'll just pop that on there and ink it up again using Nocturne. There's 24 different colours with the VersaFine Clear inks, so you can get a lot of different shades. Okay, and use that one. Now I don't know where I originally did this technique. Like I've been crafting for a long time and I don't know whether it's from a tutorial or a previous class, but some of them are just friends that show me cards and they say, oh, can you show me how to do this? And then I try and work out how they're done, <laughs> which 
which can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. So now I'm going to use the gate and fence. I think I'll take it out of this now. And I've got a little stamping block here. So I'm going to put that one in the centre of the secret garden sign. So this is the little gate. Cute little stamp, this one. Okay, so now we're going to do some fence line. I'll just pop this onto the block. And this is going to be going in front of the tree. So I'm going to line up the fence and go across the front of the tree. You could, don't have to do the whole fence if you don't want to. You can just do a portion of it. Totally up to you. Clean that off. And then we'll go to the other side of the fence. Just ink it up. Here we go. So there's a fence. I don't know whether to... I think I might stamp it one more. Here we go. Now, I'm going to stamp some flowers. But I know what I forgot to get. Just hang on a tick. So I've got a green Posca pen here. I'm just going to put some little grassy bits at the fence posts. You can put as much or as little as you like. Dry them off. I should have probably done them after I'd done some more and I'm just going to use my heat gun to dry that off. And now, using a bit of just normal copy paper, we're going to create some ground. So I'm just going to tear a bit of paper. You can just do slight undulations or you can have it so straight or as hilly as you like. And then we're going to put that under the fence posts and the fence line and using Versifying Clear Twilight we'll just create a bit of ground. Let's see if I can move it down a bit. Here we go. We'll just flick a bit of colour down. Just to make a bit of ground there for the fence line to be sitting on. And we'll just do another little bit in here. Let's see. Here we go. we we'll use that bit there. Just so the fence and the gate isn't floating in midair and it looks like it's actually sitting on some ground. There we go. So that's that done. So now I'm going to do some florals. So we're going to do this one's called lavender. Now you can stamp these in colours if you prefer, but I'm just going to stamp them in black. So we're just going to ink it up and just put some flowers in front of the fence line. Just clean up 
ponime rov. And then we'll do some... Uh, where are we? Just trying to find my... Orchard grass. Oh, here it is. It's under there. And just pop some orchard grass on there. So I'm going to stamp off because I want to. I don't want it too overpowering. Just do one big one there. I'll do a little bit in the near the fence, but near the gate, just a little bit. There we go. There. Now, um, oh, I didn't get my little lanterns. Oh, never mind. So on this one, I've done some lanterns. Let me see if I can quickly find them. Lanterns here we can hang from the tree. So I'll just put some lantern. Uh, which one? There's two different ones actually. I think I might use the round one. It's got two different shapes on there. And a bit of paper here because I don't want it to go all the way up the branch of the tree. In the nocturne, and I want it to go off, say, this branch here. So I'm going to mask off the top of it so it just looks like it's connected to that branch, and we'll do another one hanging from that branch. There we go. A couple of little lanterns. And then using yellow Posca pen, uh, sorry, pan, sorry, using yellow pan pastels. I'll just get one of my little foam brushes out. about these are just little makeup brushes that I use with the pan pastels so we'll just put some on the brush and do a bit of a glow around the lantern We might even put a, a bit of a glow up here for a moon or something. So you can add whatever you like. You don't have to use Lavinia stamps like I have. I just find those so versatile and you can do so much with them. Um, if you're in Australia, I get mine from Image Plus Scrapbook Superstore. I'll add the link in the description if you want to buy some. But they're great. Now we'll go back to Twilight. And we'll just go around the edge of the card. Again, you don't have to use the same colours I'm using. The idea of this is just to give some inspiration to show you what you can do with what products you may have. And if you don't have these brush -o paints, but you've got um, inks, you can smush them onto a craft mat, add some water and use that like we've used the brush -os in just in that painting sort of action. Here we go. So now I'll just grab my glue pen. Oops. 
This one might be dry. I'll just grab another one. If I can find it. Okay, get it working. So this is just a quickie glue pen. And I'm just going to add some little bits of glitter. Um, let's see, some around the lights, the uh, lanterns, and then just dot some around on the flowers. Not really thinking about it, just dotting it. And okay, we'll add some glitter. off the excess there we go it just gives it a little bit of shine now if I move all this out of the way and we'll put the card together so I've done a black matte layer and this piece of card is um, 12 by 6 inches Fold it in half to make a six by six card. And I'll just get some glue. So I'm just using turbo tacky glue. You can use double sided tape if you prefer. I just find this is quick. And we'll just pop that on there. And then we'll put this card on there. While I'm doing this, I do have a couple of Facebook groups. One's called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. The other one is called um, Barossa Valley Crafts. I'll leave the links in the description. And you're more than welcome to come and join us if you like. And uh, share your creations with like-minded people. And we share hints, tips and ideas. We're not limited to brands, so you can use any brands. Just give it a good rub and make sure it's stuck down. And there it is. So there's the other one that I did a couple of days ago, just to give an idea on different ways you can do them and stamp them. I hope you've enjoyed that. Look, if you have, do give me the thumbs up and please feel free to come and join us in the Facebook groups. And um, thank you for joining me. Bye.